Hey, bro. Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? Exists beyond the self. Ah! The questions must cease. Wisdom can be gained only through experience. One who is you, tainting others with the toxin that is bug snacks, have strayed from the mother's path. So it is. You must atone. Bug snacks are not of the mother, not of this island, usurpers. Bug snacks are not of the mother, not in seeking inner peace. Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. Seek the yellow sauce within the great maw of stone. On this I shall be sustained. <laughs> Yum is one, and one is craving reapers. Consider the sandscape a reflection of the mind. One unable to escape its dry embrace. First, an act of rebirth, to break out of my current shelter. So too must you break shells, crack open the egglers, give them new life. I too have burst from my shell, and so oozes forth my spiritual yoke. Yet obstacles devour that yoke, the sinister peccantis of temptation. To truly destroy these obstacles, one must break them down into their elements. We got this, we got this, we got this. 
Snack of temptation removed. Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. Seek a rasby deep below. A hidden ruin, a maze of trials. Guide this rasby to one's side. Lost now is found. The path to light determined. The time has come. Egress from the sandscape. So it is that Shelter survives. It was a metaphor. Now to Snacksburg goes me to bring such clarity to my followers. Oh, Shelda's back. Wiggle and Gramble are gonna be so stoked. Ah, oh, yes, one has returned from a great spiritual sojourn. So it is, one would really like to lie down. Sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, Sheldog. Ah, yes, uh, wisdom. Um... The strength you seek cannot be found within toxins, for the truest strength is the will to resist. Oh, I get it. I gotta check my snacks, and if they look toxic, I won't eat them. No, one is not. You... Ah, oh, clearly you need more guidance. Grump, yeah, I do. I'll bring the others, too. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. Yum. When one asks questions, one may receive answers. 
One is called Shelda. A one who is me acts as a vessel for the will of Mother Nature. So it is. One maintains balance and purity. <gasps> a calling felt in the soul. Distant voices saying, they need you. Free tickets won in a raffle. is a metaphor, uh, but yes. The toxin, the mother abhors them in all their alluring forms. One feels them crawling around us, beneath us, inside us. Mother Nature, the mother, she, the purest light from whom all life one cast out they, the scion of toxins. Yet, lessons unlearned, the cravings only grew. So it was one journeyed far to isolate oneself and live by an example. So it was, one got very, very lost. She, the Huntress, is gone from us, strayed from the Mother's path, chasing the healer's tainted love. Thrice were they warned, so this once you shall be warned. A doom befalls those who consume the toxin. A doom of toxin unending. The ground shakes, the sky splits. Look not upon it, move not an inch, or be swallowed by the queen of venoms. Or so I heard. Everyone is a fraud in a sense. Ever are more questions asked, Seldom are more answers given. One must live content with the absence of knowing. Meditate on this. A vessel of the unknown. May answers be found in its mystery. You who continues to spread the toxin's dark influence are lost. But one will guide you to the true path. Behold, the box of purity. Those box lights placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. <laughs> A wise choice was made. So it is, the light that shines within darkness shines brightest of all. Meditate on this and return one day hence. You've done right by me, stranger. Thanks for sticking with me. 
Come back tomorrow. We'll see if this bears fruit. plan. Snorpy basically can't see without his glasses, and I know he cleans them every day at five. So we'll approach him then, and if I'm green and I say bro a lot, he'll think I'm Chandlo. And obviously Snorpy isn't going to keep Chandlo's secrets from himself. You know it, bestie. Snorpy isn't going to know what hit him. Let's hang out until it's time. <clears throat> hey, Snorp Dog. Can I, like, ask you something? Chandlo, is that you? I can't see. Let me get my glasses. Oh, uh, there's no time, bro. This is important. Oh, uh, well, all right then. What is it? Bro, you remember that deep, dark secret we were talking about? You know, the really super secret one? Oh, ah. Uh... That, yes, I suppose it is time we talked about it. Chandlo, it's hard for me to know what you're thinking, and I've been afraid of talking about it for so long, but the truth is, Chandlo, I, I love you with every fiber of my heart. <laughs> That's not a secret to anybody. Befika, when did you get here? How dare you intrude on our private moment? Uh, bro, she just ran off, dog. Like, I'm gonna go chase her, bro. Hello? Chandlo? Anybody? <sighs> Chandlo buried his dirt so deep, not even Snorpy knows about it. <sighs> I've spent my whole career looking into the good ones and finding out who they really are. And like, I'm always the one who suffers for telling the truth. Every friend I ever had dropped me as soon as I told them something they didn't want to hear. And it's no different here. <sighs> the only upside to being stuck on this island, at least I have bug snacks to keep me company. I don't know. I like you because we're similar. I'm a Leo like that. Can I really trust you? There's plenty of time to find out, but I'd probably be a lot happier if I didn't know. Ah, <sighs> another fine day behind us. Welp, they came out of the ground all right. Guess I didn't bury them deep enough. What am I supposed to do if even I don't believe in me? I didn't come to this island to be free or to live off the land. I'm here because I couldn't make it over there. Deep down, I'm a failure. It's all right. I knew it all along. Ah, <sighs> another well, fine day behind us. I still us. got my sauce. It's not bug snacks, but it's not nothing. Maybe I'm just stubborn enough to call that a win. Ah, another fine day behind us. So it is! The toxins are no more. <gasps> One is pure. One would never be tempted by such poison. This is why one sits in meditation every day for six hours repeating the mantra don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks. And so it is, one never thinks about bug snacks. Ever the sun rises, ever are more toxins left to be purified. In dreams each night, one sees inch wraps, cheeses, and peel bugs. This vision must be 
The will of the mother. So it is. You must bring them to the box of purity. <laughs> Nothing like a campfire. 